Hello again. Um, right now, I have the XTEX 411 multimeter set up at the 750 volt setting. It shows up to 750 volts, and right now it's displaying 160 or two, over 222 or, or even 255 volts. Um, but where, uh, what, where is this coming from? Where are these volts coming from? I'm going to show you the amps later to show you the total AC power. This is AC volts again. AC volts. This is why over here, if you can see it. Okay. Uh, hold it like this. Mm, oh well. This is the AC. This strip is the AC. This is the DC volts. I'll show you what happens when I put on a DC volts. Um, it's, this is what it shows. Well, I mean, it makes no sense to consider the time average volt if you're trying to multiply the volts by the amps. I mean, this is just DC volts. But, uh, um, because it's uh, on and off every now and then. Oops. Let me switch this again. Sorry. Okay, we're back to AC volts. 175, 144, 184, 148, 1. Okay, but what am I using? Let's show the borders around this thing. We'll show there's no other things except this. No other things except this. This is a this is a um cabinet, okay? But as you can see, hopefully there's no uh, ex all of the this system is totally contained. There's no extra wires to the sides or whatever. These are all the batteries I'm using. I'm using 16 batteries, 1.5 volts. Okay, batteries. Okay, and batteries don't put out AC. The AC comes from the spinning magnet. The spinning magnet generates a magnetic flux and it produces pulsed AC. This is pulsed DC. As you can see, uh, we got a wire over here. It's being striked over there. It goes to this red wire. Actually, it goes the other way. I thought. It's actually going here first, and there, then to there, back to there. And the way I measure the voltage is connect this thing over here, this thing over here. And that's how I get these, um, huh. So, why did the, huh, let's see, it's hitting that, maybe. What happens when I do this? Uh, well, I mean, still, look at it, it's tw 45, 35, 29. Okay, so there's the voltage. Oh, look at this. This is out. This is not connected. Let's put this back. Aha! So we're back to 169, 177, 180. See? It even displayed a voltage when I had one of the things disconnected. Look at that. One of the things was disconnected. And even if I take this out, it still measures a voltage. How about that? And the voltage, okay. So, okay, big deal. That's the voltage. So what is the current? I mean, so if the voltage is like 190, an AC voltage, what's the current? So right now, we have to alter the connections. We'll pull this one out here. Put this one here. And, all right, hopefully you can see this. We're going to... Put this link. All right. Now we're gonna put this here. Mm. Is this the right way? Uh, it's close enough. It will. Sh it might show a minus sign, but ignore it. All right. Not really good with these colors because I'm not sure which one goes which. But uh, just ignore the minus sign because we're not caring if it's negative or whatever. And. Let me try this again. Oh, wait a second. We'll have to turn this. And we'll connect this. And we'll put this around. Alright. So we measured the AC voltages and the DC voltages. Now, um, we have to spin this thing going. Alright, the AC amps. The AC amps right now are 1.0 or 
0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0 0.7, 0 0.9, 1.4, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 1.3, 1.3, 1.1, 1.2. 1 but, I mean, this is the AC amps. And you multiply it by the AC voltage, what, and this is a true RMS multimeter, so th these numbers are not a joke. This is measuring a true RMS. It better because this is from x -Tex Instruments, and I better trust them. Uh, one AC amp times how many volts? So, how many AC watts are coming out of this motor? I mean, okay, okay, 200 watts, maybe. 200 watts. Because you take one point something or eight point something times 250 or whatever or something well okay maybe this is a similar between 100 times and 200 times one watt okay we'll see how many watts we're using from the battery the DC the DC the DC okay this is okay this is a 20 amp setting so it shows up to 20 amps this is a 20 amp port this this one broke because I broke the fuse Just for some reason. The back spikes were too high for this thing. All right, but here is the AC amps. Let's go to the DC amps. All right, so all we have to do basically, I can just turn this dial, pass the milliamp thing, then here. Okay, this is the DC amps. This is the 20 amp setting of the DC amps. 20 amp setting of the DC amps. Hopefully you can see it. Aha, there you go, it's focused. Now, we might as well focus these things too to see what these were. There we go, you can see the sine wave is for the AC voltage. And those two lines, you can barely see. It's for the, this is the um, DC volts measure, okay? And right now we're measuring the DC amps. 0 0.04, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, okay? Um, so 30 milliamps, 40 mil so 20 milliamps, 3, 10, 30, 10, well, whatever, right? So, okay, comparing this to a threshold, okay, 1 amp of AC amps, um, compare this to less than 1 20th of that, okay? And the voltages, uh, the AC voltages were like over 200 some of the times. So, what happens if we measure the DC voltage of these batteries? It ought to be less than 24. I mean, you would think that the voltage of one battery, AA battery, would not be greater than, um, let's say, 160 divided into 16 batteries or 10 volts per battery. You wouldn't expect that. You wouldn't expect that it was kind of AC voltages coming from these batteries. You would expect something else. So let's see what we have right now. Earlier it was 20 volts, and let's see what it is now. It's probably 20 volts again. I'm willing to bet on it. Now, for the DC voltage, I don't need to really set it up the way I did it earlier. I can just do it this time, do it this way. And 20 volts, all right. Um, I could have just easily just put this, my, my uh, thing uh, over here, and yep, sure enough, it says 20 volts. So, alright, so we're using 20 volts, I mean, of DC times a 20th of an amp of DC, so we're using about 1 watt of DC, and we're getting over 200 volts of AC sometimes, and we're getting about 1 amp of AC, 